Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com, and in this Lightroom 4 preset system mixology tutorial, we're going to show you guys exactly how to use the Soft Portrait standard color preset, as well as how we went about creating it to kind of help you guys in learning and understanding the Lightroom 4 preset system. So this is one of our standard studio presets and it's labeled as soft portrait because it kind of has an overall softening effect and we're generally using it for portraits, for images that have people in them. And we're going to show you guys exactly how it works now. So I have an image selected here. I'm going to show you guys the standard color preset that comes with the 1.1 update. And it has this nice softening effect where it kind of just diminishes lines a little bit, um, smooths out some of the tones, but it still gives you that nice high contrast look. Like all of our uh, presets, they're all designed to work with uh, standard exposed images. So if you have images that are underexposed, that's something that you still need to correct for. And same with white balance. But let's show you guys the difference between this versus a vivid color preset. So this is the vivid color preset. And you can see how it kind of brings out the lines in her face. It kind of has a little bit more harsh look to it than this soft one. If we flip back and forth, you can kind of really tell the difference between the two. Let's go to another image and show you guys on another image. So here's another one. Uh, we can click that standard color preset for the uh, soft version versus the hard version. All right, so you can see, and there's nothing wrong. I have a lot of people that actually, I know a lot of people that like to use the vivid version for their portraits, and they might do a little bit of retouch. They may not. They might just like that harder look. There's nothing wrong with that. We just wanted to group these up into two settings, one for softer looks, which I think is going to be the majority of what people want for their portraits, and one for kind of more vivid looks, which generally is for landscapes, but can also be used in portrait settings. So let's show you guys another image. Let's flip over here. Let's see. Actually, let's use this image. We'll use this for our tutorial image as well. So let's select the standard color. Actually, I think that's already applied. Let's reset it and see. Yeah, that's already been applied. So here is the soft portrait standard color. Here is the vivid version. You can see there's quite a big difference in the two. And if we zoom into her face, you'll really notice a difference as we flip back and forth between the two settings. Just how much we're amplifying those details. And it really becomes kind of unflattering uh, unless you do additional uh, retouch. Like I said, there's a lot of people that would use the vivid version and just do a lot of retouch. But if you're not going to do retouch, I'd stick with more of the standard color. So now let's show you how this preset is made. Like every single preset, we always start with the standard import because that's how we bring in our images into Lightroom with the standard import preset. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to, after we have the standard import applied, we're going to close the My Mixology folder. We're going to open up the base adjustments and we're going to start with an image. I always design my presets with an image that's correctly exposed. Um, and that way it's kind of the base for all my images. And then from there, I know exactly what I need to do. Like for example, if I start with an image that's correctly exposed and in the preset, I add one stop of exposure because I want it to have kind of a blown look. Well, when I apply that preset, I see that it's plus one and it, I know immediately that if the image is too dark, this was designed to be an overexposed image by one stop. So I just adjust to make it sure that it's still one stop over regardless of what that exposure setting is. All right, guys, so we're starting with this uh, image that's basically already correctly exposed. The white balance is pretty close to on. Uh, we can make adjustments on that later, but it's close enough to create our preset. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go down to our base tones. We're going to do a portrait flatten. This is going to flatten out the tones uh, kind of in the image. It's going to pull down the highlights on skin and just kind of make it uh, even it out just a little bit more. We're going to go down to detail, we're going to do a light soften, and it's going to overall just soften up the image a little bit, not to the point where everything becomes too soft, but just kind of create a nice light softening effect to help diminish lines and unflattering detail. We're going to skip over contrast, we're going to skip over blacks, I think we're going to skip over actually everything else, uh, and let's go down to noise reduction. We're going to go and click light, because we want to smooth out just a little bit of those uh, details and like the skin. This light setting isn't really going to kill much of the uh, image detail. It's not going to kill like your overall detail, but it is going to smooth out kind of some of those pores a little bit and just kind of create a, a nicer look overall. Um, that's kind of an optional setting. If you guys don't want to do the noise reduction, that's fine. That light setting is very light, so it won't really affect detail. We can zoom in on her hair and we can still see a lot of detail actually in her hair if we zoom in. So you'll see that we didn't actually kill hair detail. All right, we're going to go and close up on the uh, base adjustments panel. We're going to go down to the neutral curves, and I just want to add one curve, which is going to be the ivory neutral punch curve, just to add some contrast to the image. This is going to punch up the image and kind of give us that nice 
contrast curve that we want. But again, we have flattened tones and colors. So we've kind of, well not colors, but flattened highlights and everything like that. So we have very flattering kind of skin tones and, and smoothed out uh, look to the image, but we still have the nice high contrast look. All right, guys, so that's it for that preset. If you guys wanted to, you could save this, but if you guys have the 1.1 update, which I assume all of you that are watching this do, it's already saved under the standard color. But if you want just to know, we're going to go and click on the new preset. And this is what we do when we create new presets, guys. We hit, I, I hit check all. What we don't want to do is we don't want to adjust white balance. We want to keep all this other stuff selected because basically we want each one of these presets to be kind of like a, uh, a reset. We want every one of those presets, at, at least the mixologies, to be its own preset so when we click from one to another, nothing carries over. All right, so we're going to unclick the lens profile correction, unclick transform, and unclick, uh, let's see, chromatic aberration because these are all included with whichever standard import preset you select. So we don't want any of those selected. This is the general setting that we're going to use when creating every single one of our mixologies. We're going to deselect white balance, deselect lens profile corrections, transform and chromatic aberration. Everything else is selected and we're going to put it into the My Mixology folder with a name and label of your choice based on you know whatever grouping you like. If you guys don't like any of the mixologies that the 1.1 update came with, then go ahead and delete it or rename them to whatever you guys like. This is your own system that you're developing in the My Mixology folder. We're just giving you guys kind of a starting point with the 1.1 update and be able to see exactly what you can do. From here we would hit create if we wanted to actually create it. I'm not going to create it because we already have that preset saved as the 11 standard color soft portrait preset. So I'm going to hit cancel and we're done with the soft portrait preset guys. Let's go on to the next Mixology tutorial.